welcome back to the channel. We're just on our way to Holding Wood Reservoir. Now, just off the point of interest here, this is where the old railway line used to run from um, Accrington all the way through to Stubbins and beyond. Those trees there are where the railway line was. And I'll do a separate vlog on this and it carried on right the way through there. Uh, you'll see signs of it when I get uh, over here. But uh, it's, I'll do a I'll do a separate vlog on that because it's uh, it's quite interesting. And there's a guy called Mank One, done a vlog uh, on all railway lines, and he's done the Stubbins, Aslan and Railway route. Um, so if you want to uh, check that out, if you're interested, that uh, that's the place to go. So as I say, we're on our way to Oldingwood Reservoir at the moment. Uh, just a short, about three mile walk, very scenic, nice sunny evening. So I thought I'd just try me gimbal out on my relatively new youtube channel as i said before it's only really to record our walks it's nothing to do with uh, getting monetized or anything like that <clears throat> i just hope it's of, uh, of interest to people we're going over to uh, as i said holding wood res and uh, grain is uh, famous really for uh, all the mining that used to go on stone quarrying and part way around this walk, you'll see where uh, there's a tram line where they used to bring the stone down. So I'll, uh, uh, I'll show you that. And I have an old picture somewhere, which if I can find it, with the uh, people working on it in about the 1850s, uh, which would be quite interesting if I can uh, lay my hands on it. Oldingwood Res. I've just zoomed in. Here, if you just look at the, oops. If you just look toward to right of those buildings, you can just see that slope. I can try and point it out to you. Yeah, just to the just to the right of that building, you can see that black gash. That's the tr tram tracks that brought all the storm down. We'll get a better view of it as we uh, get around the reservoir. Um, but. Um, on the top there there's a place called the chimney which they used to um, I don't know what they did, well fire all the storm in some way shape or form and it was uh, falling down and they've had to make it safe because many people go up there it's called Musby Heights is that and uh, we will go up to uh, the chimney at some point because I intend doing a lot of vlogs around the grain area as well as the Lake District for those that uh, that may be interested I'll tell you what it's um, gone down a bit as this res this is the bottom one of three can you see the, the depth there that's uh, that's a good 10 feet lower than what it uh, full capacity is so you can tell how, uh, how dry it's been and all these paths here usually are like bogs and is in the distance there And he's not happy, I keep stopping. refuge in here once so this is some sort of tunnel under the railway line and there's Wendy just went to mist her then just going on the next part of the route just to bend down here all right so we're on the other side of the res now we just basically follow that path up to that house 
and we're down at the other side of the res. That's the uh, second reservoir, one further up further on than that uh, near Clefait Cafe, which again we'll bring you to at some point. But you can see there just how low the reservoir is. All that green right next to the water there, that should be feet deep in water. And what normally happens is the reservoir gets fed from that one. Obviously the one feeds that one. So uh, yeah, very low. And this will be a test of how dry this is. This path here, as you can see, it's pretty dry. There's usually just over this little hill where Wendy is, and I think she's found it, there's usually a heck of a lot of water, and it looks like there still is. It's a natural spring coming from uh, over here on the right. It's uh, deep enough to bring it to a halt. Are you stuck? Oh, there's hardly anything here compared to what there used to be. Where are you going? You want me to go first, do you? Right. Easy. I think that's the spring that uh, furnishes it there. Right, I need to video this. Come on, Wen. Nice one. Easy. This new gimbal and I've uh, turned it into a mode that faces moi. How about that? And I'll just click this button here. Let's see if get the right one. Oh, no, I haven't got the right one. Oh well, perhaps I don't know what I'm doing. 